Hi, Aries. I'm Letitia Bynum Hinton, astrologer and numerologist, and I am here with your weekly horoscope for the week of July the 29th through August the 4th. Now, we start off the week with um, the continuing of the challenging aspects that we had last week. And um, those are the challenging conversations between the Sun and Uranus, and Uranus and Mars. And for you, this challenge continues um, in your fifth house of children and creativity uh, and your uh, house of organizations that you are a part of, groups that you are a part of, as well as um, your second house of income okay so for you again these squares and oppositions come in here to shake you up from the norm so that you can step out and do something new and fresh and different and so that is why this energy is uh, coming for you like this so for you the challenge is to examine are you uh, making the money that you feel you should be making uh, is there some level of creativity that you have not leveled up to um, where you could be um, maybe your own boss maybe you could uh, be diversifying your funds uh, is there something that you have not tapped into um, that could generate more income for you also in the area of the groups that you are a part of you know, the question is, um, are they helping you be the best you? Do you need to change your associations with the groups that you are a part of? So these are some of the questions that could be coming up for you during um, this time. So this is continuing on for the majority of the week, this particular challenging aspect. And then when we move on to Monday, July 30th, we have Jupiter trine uh, Neptune, which is a good aspect, an easy conversation between Jupiter, which is in Scorpio, in your 8th house, and Neptune, which is in your 12th house. So uh, this particular energy could bring for you some enlightenment, some spiritual revelation, um, something coming just from the universe from God down to you and understanding that you know with some spiritual insight about something that has been hidden from you and then it just comes to the fore um, you could find yourself with this energy wanting to pray more wanting to connect to the divine more and uh, this is something that could come in for you on Monday and this energy is lasting all week which would be really nice you know, to be able to tap in freely um, to God and to hear clearly which direction you need to go. Um, there is a challenging aspect happening on Monday as well, and that is the moon in an in conjunction with the sun. And so the moon is in Pisces and the sun, of course, is in Leo. So this is going to be affecting you um, in an area where you may be questioning whether or not um, your creativity can bring you the things that you desire to have. Your creativity may be meeting up with some of your fears that you have, fears that um, of causing you to not to want to step out from the familiar and launch out into a path that could bring you the things that you want. Uh, there could also be some challenges that come up with your children as far as um, maybe even with your mother. You could have some challenges with your mother um, as far as um, having an understanding, feeling comfortable, feeling safe, feeling heard, feeling, um, feeling nurtured. You know, there could be either way, either your children may feel that you are not nurturing them the way that they want you to, or you're not there for them the way they want you to, or you could be feeling this way about your mother. Also about your business, you may be feeling, you know, again, is this business um, 
doing for me what I needed to do. You know, is this the business that I should be in? Am I comfortable uh, with with what I have created if you're an entrepreneur? So these are some questions that could come up with this particular energy. And then on Tuesday, July the 31st, we have Saturn in a good aspect with Uranus. Um, and Saturn is in Capricorn while Uranus is in Taurus. So for you, uh, this is affecting you in your house of income and in your house of your house of income and your reputation in the world. So for you, your your second house is where Uranus is in Taurus, and then Saturn is in your tenth house of your reputation, your career in the world. So here, these two uh, having a nice conversation is causing you to be able to know for sure that you're in the right career path. Um, you and your boss may be getting along well. You know, you may have a good communication. You may even find yourself being promoted but your income is stabilizing with this particular energy also the career path that you're in is stabilizing and it is manifesting for you the things that you want uranus brings change but it is a change that brings uh brings you to the career that you want to be in brings you the stability and the recognition that you want in your career as well as the income that you would like to have this could also be affecting you in your self-esteem, in your self-worth, where a change is happening within your self-worth that brings you into the career that you want to be in. It brings you to a place of recognition, the change in your uh, self-esteem and, and understanding of who you are and what your value and what you have to offer to the world. Okay. On Wednesday, we have uh, Mercury in Leo with an in conjunction to Pluto okay and so for this particular energy we have Pluto here again in your house of your reputation to the world um, your career and at the same time we have Mercury retrograde in the sign of Leo in your fifth house so this challenge could be with you um, trying to bring forth your plans that you have, some plans that you want to um, bring forth in a project that you may want to create or manage uh, in your career, but within yourself and for those who are hearing, you're not sure if they understand you. And with Mercury being retrograde, that is something that is very common. And then with it being in an inconjunct, which is a hard aspect, um, to Saturn, you know, there may be this um, confusion about what it is. Your boss may not understand you. You're saying to, to your boss, you know, I want to uh, start this particular project. I want to have this particular budget for it and, and do X, Y, and Z with the project. But there is a disconnect. There is a misunderstanding of what you are trying to do at this time. So when this energy passes in a couple of days, maybe at the beginning of next week would be a better time for you to present something like that to your boss. Okay. So that's something that could come in here. And then we have uh, the moon in a good aspect to Mars on this same day. And this is Wednesday, August 1st that we're talking about. So the moon is in Aries in your first house. Um, and this, this video is for Aries sun, Aries moon, and Aries rising. So either one, this will um, be energy that will be brought to you. Okay. So we have the moon, which is about feeling comfortable and feeling safe and uh, being in the familiar. This is coming into Aries for you. And it is in a good aspect with Mars, which is in Aquarius. So for you, this is you feeling good and feeling comfortable about yourself and feeling good about the groups that you are in. So maybe like earlier we talked about, you maybe needed to change a group, change your groups and affiliations, and maybe you do that. And then on Wednesday, you're feeling really good about it. You feel like you're at home in the groups that you are that you have become a part of. Okay, so that's what we could see there. 
Then we have on August the 2nd, Thursday, August the 2nd, we have the moon still in Aries. And then there is an in conjunction with Jupiter. So the moon is in your first house of self, of who you are. And Jupiter is in Scorpio in your eighth house of resources, of other people's resources, things that other people give to you. So for you, this could show up in a way where you feel um, over, you over anticipate or you have an um, over expectation of what somebody else is going to do for you and you feel uh, overly confident that they are going to give you ten thousand dollars or you feel overly confident that you're going to get um, the grant you know from the organization or the loan so this is something that you want to watch for so that you can have balance because with this in conjunction here it means that there is uh, a misunderstanding that um, those who have the the resources that you need uh, may not be fully connecting with what it is that um, you feel that you want so this is something that will pass you know within the next day or so so maybe friday or saturday um, you'll be able to see clearly in this area okay then on friday august the third we have venus in leo and in, in conjunction with the moon in aries so that is your fifth house and the fifth house represents um, your children it represents creativity and then with an in conjunction with the moon so we have our two feminine energies here misunderstanding each other so again the moon in aries still and that is in your house of yourself so maybe your children not understanding you not understanding who you are this could show up um as you not fully understanding your own creativity and what you have to bring to the table either for yourself for your life you know for your for your purpose here you don't fully see feel connected to you don't really feel connected to your own gifts uh, you may not feel love perhaps from your mother this could show up in that way or you don't feel love coming from your mother uh, or your children don't feel love coming from you you know these are things that you could hear on these days okay and then Saturday finally August the 4th we have Pluto which is the planet of uh, power and control transformation and death we have Pluto and Capricorn in a good aspect. It's in a trine to the moon in Taurus, okay? So for you, you have Pluto in your 10th house, which is the house of your reputation and your career in the world. And we have Pluto there, and we have Taurus in your house of your income. So your income and your self-esteem. So this is an energy that could cause you to feel more empowered in your life, more empowered about who you are, uh, feeling more valuable, feeling more in control, feeling more in control of your destiny, feeling empowered to um, step out, start your new career. And Uranus is bringing change here to your income as well as the moon is here so this is you feeling safe and feeling good in your career and the direction that you're going in your life okay so that's a really good energy coming in and then finally the last challenging aspect that we have is the Sun in Leo squaring the moon in Taurus so that is your house of your uh, creativity and children that's the fifth house and then your house of income and self-esteem and we have the moon in in that particular house and this is coming in on saturday so this is a day where you could feel some frustration within when we have this the square is this particular challenging aspect the square causes you to feel an internal frustration so that you will make an outward change okay 
So with the moon square and the sun, there is a challenge to what feels safe to you and what feels comfortable to you, to what it is that your ego wants and um, how you shine in the world, okay? So with this coming in here, there is a challenge within your heart and mind. Something comes from within to say, I cannot stay here. Um, and you begin to change uh, course. You begin to bring forth your creativity after you come through the square. The square causes you to work through what energy is there, work through the frustration. This could also come up with your children um, causing you to spend too much money on them, give too much money to them. You may have grown children who are constantly calling you to say, you know, I, I need, can you help me with my light bill? Can you help me pay my rent? And this sort of thing. And then you ultimately, um, this square, this uncomfortableness that you have causes you to say no more. You know, it's time to cut the apron strings. It's time for you to stand on your own two feet. So this is what can come in here. So what's so interesting to keep in mind that, you know, we have, because the universe is so kind to us, we have the challenging aspects and all of the challenging aspects come in to help us to change, to help us to grow, to help us to, be, to mature, to become stronger and wiser. And so we have these challenging aspects blended in with the nice and easy aspects so that we don't have all of the harshness at the same time. So we have the blessings and the challenges coming in together, and which is really nice. So we get a little bit of a breather. But all of this energy that we have been having with the squares in the past few weeks is to cause us to grow and to change and to become better people and to become better on this earth. To, to live out our purpose in the best way. Okay, so again, my name is Letitia Bynum Hinton. If you would like to have a reading with me, I would love to do that for you. You can find me at LetitiaBynumHinton.com. Okay, all right, and remember, no matter what, the universe is conspiring to bless you. Have a great week.